I've been trying. Getting clear running now up the inside, but running bears a length in front. I've been trying is doing that right down the outside. Lord de Sanamo. I've been trying up the inside. Went past running bear. I've been trying beats running bear. I've been trying's definitely been tested at the highest level. He's gone to a highway and, and won there, pretty impressive. Then we, after that highway, we gave him a couple of starts in town in, in open benchmark races and he, and he performed really well. He, he, was, he was up to the mark, but we thought we'd tip him out and, and just aim him completely for the country championship. So this whole, this whole preparation's been programmed for that race. And um, we, we always had a plan to go second up into the country champs so that's why we gave him the first up run at Warwick Farm, over 1,200, which was always going to be a little bit too short for him. Um, but he came rocking it home the last furlong and it was pretty impressive. It, it indicates that he, he's looking for the 1,400. We elected to give him a soft little barrier trial at Goulburn in between just to keep that fitness intact, which he won the trial pretty easy. So he's, he's heading into the race very fit and uh, ready, ready to go. Invitational, she's a bit of the um, underdog, I think, because she's a three-year-old filly, only having six starts and winning four of them. So it may be a little bit too soon for her to take on the older horses, but I, I believe that she's gone good enough and proved herself enough to have a go against the older horses and, and see how she goes. And Prophet's Pride, um, she's, she's gone really well to date also. She's, um, she probably hasn't been tested as high as I've been trying, but what she's been put in, she's always ran top three, and if not, she's won, so she deserves a crack at the race as well. Quade Crow will be booked for I've Been Trying. He won on him last preparation at Wagga, so he knows the horse quite well. He also is a stable jockey for me, so he rides him every second day. I ride him every other day. Uh, we take turns who does the gallops, so we both know him very well. So he's got the ride on I've Been Trying. Louise Day, she'll ride uh, Invitational. She's had three rides on her for three wins, so you, you, you couldn't take her off. They get along very well. Um, and Alicia Collett will ride Prophet's Pride. She rode her in a barrier trial at Goulburn a few weeks ago to get a feel of her, and then she rode her last start at Wagga when she ran third, and, and she uh, decided to stick with her in the champ, so that's a good indication that the horse is going quite well. I've only been training for about six months. So I was previously a, a qualified builder in Cooma, where that's where I was born and, and bred. And um, so I was doing that and just had one or two horses in work just with dad uh, for a fair few years there. And um, I decided to, I'd had enough of building and the passion for the race horses obviously kicked into a higher gear. We're pretty proud to, um, to have these type of horses because you can go a long time without getting anything, one horse that could be competitive in that type of race and to have three that are very live chances is, is a pretty big thing for a little stable like mine. Um, all my staff, you know, their passion's pretty strong for the game and, and for my stable and um, it'll be a pretty big buzz for everyone, even my owners that um, I've been trying, they're from Coomer and they bred him so it's a bit of a sentimental feel in there for him. Um, so it'll be a pretty big kick on the day if we can come home with a top three placing with one of them would be super but if um, yeah if we could run top two with two of them that'd be ideal.